Hello, and welcome to the Bluegrass Sports Show, or the BS Show. We are two fat guys who talk crap. We are the centers of grinners. Oh, okay. uh, I'm Carl. Uh, <laughs> I, I reckon. The animal. <laughs> and today, oh boy, we are starting a fun, for us, series of videos. A four, a four, four. 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 It's this chair. It has to be this chair. I'm telling you. <laughs> maybe if we swap out your chair and I sit on it and move it over here, maybe. Oh, I'll okay. I see what you're saying. Well, then you would stumble over there. <laughs> I'm, I'm worse. I'm gonna go get a chair off the off the front off porch. the floor. <laughs> off the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Today we are starting a four film series and the four the, uh, film series. Four like film it. series. Yes. I like that name. Film. Our objective is to our objective. Determine what will be the best collection of talent in UK history based on eras. Our objectives. Now we're not going to talk Adolf Rupp because be to, be, to be honest, the people who tune in to view us and we love you. You don't you're know. Younger. <laughs> you don't. You're for the most part. Now some of you are. You know who you are, and you're probably going to complain about referees next week whenever we whenever we play whoever we play next week in football, Mississippi State. You know who you are. <laughs> but for the most part, nobody's going to know anything about the Adolf Rupp right, or Joe B. Right, Hall era. So we're going to start with Patino. We are not going to include Billy Gillespie. And <laughs> we're going to There's not enough players to include Gillespie. <laughs> just Wallace, Wallace Gillespie starting five the first year. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but he, Jasper, baby. <laughs> he Jasper. wasn't even. Was he Gillespie? He, yeah, he, he was Gillespie. He yeah. was Toby and Gillespie. But <laughs> what we're going to do today. Today, you're going to get our opinion for the ultimate uh -huh. Rick Patino lineup. We're going to discuss that. Tomorrow. I don't know yet. Which one it'll be? Well, it had to be Tubby. It had to be Tubby. Yeah, it had to be Tubby. Be tubby. To Tomorrow you're going to get Tubby. <coughs> Orlando Tubby Smith. And then the day after that, that was his first name, Orlando. Oh, I never knew that. He got his nickname Tubby. It's something to do with whenever he's a kid in a tub or something. His mother gave him <laughs> the nickname Tubby. But anyways. <laughs> I got the nickname Tubby because I was fat. <laughs> yeah. You know. But... That's whenever they would announce him at games. Or head coach, University of Kentucky, Orlando Tubby Smith. You don't remember I don't know, that? I know, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's iconic with the Tubby era. Anyways, swear, third video, you're all. going to get Cal's lineup. And then the fourth video, we're just going to discuss all three teams. Yep, and see kind of who we pick as the... Rank them one through three and how they would play out against each other. That'll work. Yeah, we could do that. All right. Now, so, before we do start, hush. Before we do start, <laughs> I want to go back a couple, a couple of videos ago, back to our couple videos ago. Yeah, we have just a little bit of corrections to make going back to our overlooked players draft. Oh. Well, no. <laughs> yes, because we, my list was different. Well, yeah, but we need to acknowledge how inaccurate yeah, okay. your list was. It wasn't inaccurate, but the Alex English, he was the 23rd pick and he was the second round draft pick. But, but, but at that time... But at that time... The draft was not as large. They wasn't as many teams. Well, they didn't start over from number one when they started the second round. Right. What it was, it started like X and X, like X amount of players were taken in the first round, like 20, and then you start at 21 is the word second round. So it was like the third pick in the second round, but it was a very constricted yep. draft. Overall, the 23rd overall pick, he was taken well before where Tony Parker was. Now, right, right. Willis Reed, eighth overall player taken. Even though he was in the second round, he was eighth overall player taken. So, <laughs> strike that from the history book. Alex English and Willis Reed have no business on my list. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas and Draymond Green stays. <laughs> now, also, if we're talking about that, for instance, uh, and this is my bad, this is the preparation part. Y'all know I suck at that. Ben Wallace would have been on my list yes. had I remembered anything about Ben Wallace. I completely forgot about him. <laughs> so the preparation, maybe, you know, if I had prepared a little more, I would have thought of Ben Wallace, but you know, whatever. To the, and to the players, as far as that were taken higher than what they, the bust video we did, Yeah, I completely disrespected the 2001 draft. That draft gave us Pal Gasol and Tony Parker. My bad. <laughs> okay, I'm ready yeah. to go now. We're starting at point guard for Patino, right? Sure. I don't care. So, you, you wanna we're going to jump right in this, <laughs> and we're going to go with Patino's era. We're going to give – I'm going to give my one through five, but they may not – they may even differ from his as far as who's playing what position. And we're going to come out with one team at the end. 
Ooh, well, we're going to try. But We will. We can get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is my list. And, you know, you know this. We discussed a little bit over the phone earlier. Uh, so I've got... <laughs> I've got Dale. At least I keep mine off the camera. It's all right. Who cares? <laughs> this is my phone, guys. All right. With my list. Okay. <laughs> at number one, at point, I've got the elk. And that's something we discussed yes, earlier. Yes. That's what This is in an effort to ease. He's a shooting guard. He thinks he's a point guard because of his size. He thinks he played more point guard. He's incorrect. He played shooting guard. I never guard. said he played more. He played shooting guard beside Travis Ford. He played shooting guard beside Anthony Epps. Tony Delk was like a shooting guard. guard. He's just a small shooting guard. <laughs> just he's got small. an arm that can reach over there and fry <laughs> yeah. bacon while he's also shooting. You know shooting. who's a small shooting guard? Uh, Alan Iverson? No. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> that ain't who I'm talking about. He played in Kentucky. Who was a... Uh, Oh, my God. Louisville 54. Got 54 on him. Oh, uh, Jody Meeks? Yes, he was small. Jody Meeks like 6'4", 6'5". 6'4". That's not very tall for That's a shooting guard. tall for college. But, yeah, college. I'm, not talking about, I'm just saying shooting guard in general. Okay. And he was much bigger than Delk. <laughs> You're saying it was a small shooting guard. He's an extremely small shooting guard. <laughs> I would say that Delk probably has a longer wingspan. Oh well, maybe, but that's he's a freak of nature. But, but anyway, I, agree, I agree with Delk. At, at do the you point. really? Yes, I do. Holy it's, crap! Just to get never expected this, that one. To get him in this lineup, I would have Delk. <laughs> okay, so at my two guard, I've got Derek Anderson. Agree. Yay! Now here's where I guarantee we're going to differ. Yes. Is I can already feel it coming. Yeah, I've got Mashburn at the three. Now, and the reason being, reason being, and we, you know, discussed this earlier as well. Reason being is because when you talk about Mashburn, especially at Kentucky, there wasn't, he wasn't very good shooter. He was okay, but he wasn't nothing special. But you've got so much shooting that's available with Derek Anderson and Tony Dell to make up for that lack of shooting that I don't think teams would be able to. And when we're talking the teams now, athletically and everything, to me, you need Mashburn in there. But And I'm going to completely counter that. Okay. But go ahead and give your four All right, five. so my four is Antoine Walker. Okay. And at the center position, okay, in the Patino era, there was not a whole lot to offer at the center, pure center position. Mm -hmm. So I do have... Walter McCarthy. That's <laughs> my starting I thought you were going to go with Brasso. Brasso! <laughs> uh, they would just wouldn't have a lot to offer. No, you wait for Tubby Center. Though. But anyway, go ahead. Now, <laughs> I completely agree with you with the front court. Now, was Delk the best point guard in the Patino era? Absolutely not. I would take Anthony Epps every single day. Over but Farmer? Over, over Richie Farmer? Over... <laughs> Why? Over Travis Ford? Why not? Travis over Ford, Ford, definitely. Uh, Anthony uh, Richie, Richie was better Anthony than Anthony Epps led us to two straight title oh. games. Well, you can say led us, but we had a stout team. Yeah, we did have a stout team. You could have <laughs> made the all Patino team just the 1960. <laughs> yeah. it. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep Mashburn, but I'm going to drop him down to power forward. Okay. And Oh, and, my God. Does that mean you're doing what? Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to play Antoine Walker at the five. In a college game, a 6'9 center will suffice. Mashburn 6'8, 6'9. I don't know. You're getting around Walker's the same. Tall, is you're it? getting around you're getting so much floor spacing. Walker could score in the paint and he was a good defender yes, no, in the he was good. I to me, you have you've already got you've already got lightning. Walter McCarthy was what, 6'10, 6'11? Yeah, something like that. You've already got lightning. You have to have thunder. You've got to have Ron Mercer. Ron Mercer and Derek Anderson were known as Thunder and Light. Oh, okay, that was their nickname. Yes. Yeah. You've got to you've got to have Thunder if you're going to have Light. Mercer for, was tough. For me, if you're going to have the the most <laughs> ultimate Patino team, as far as just the best players from Patino's era, right. you've got to find a way to have Delk in this lineup because he's the he's the he's the yes. all time leading scorer for Patino era players. He's in the top five period at the university. You need to have Derek Anderson because Derek Anderson might be individually, along with Mashburn, the most talented yes. player to play under Patino. God, I don't know. Walker's Derek, really good too, though. Yeah, Walker was really good. <laughs> but, so I mean, that's yeah. but you have to have that's Mashburn. a testament. You have to have Mashburn. Was, you have to have Walker. Yeah. The difference is, do you value having a true center 
in which McCarty was more he, he, he had more of a power forward game, yes. but he was he was tall enough to place he was taller than Walker. So like, and that's what I'm looking at. When I made my list, I was looking versus the other areas. Where you're gonna have taller. The way I look at the team is that you're gonna to need to put as much talent on the floor to compete. <laughs> well, true. <laughs> Especially whenever we get down the line and we start talking chaos teams. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're going to need as much talent. Now, McCarty could spread the floor. McCarty could shoot. McCarty could fly. Unbelievably athletic player. But, decent shot blocker. Decent rebounder. But just well, to me, Ron Mercer might be the third or fourth best player, period, to play under Patino. How can you not have him on the team? I would say he's in the top five, definitely. So, I mean, how can, how can you not have I him mean, on the team? four of my five are we, in that top we, five. We agree with. And I think that beats we agree with Mercer. I think five. Mercer's number five on that list. Okay. But that's the only reason I built my list the way I built it was to combat the future eras as far as size. Uh, now, now McCart- or, uh, McCarty, Mashburn's going to be bigger mm-hmm. at the three. I don't know that anybody – I don't – well, Kid Gilchrist. <laughs> well, I mean – Yeah, well, we ain't doing that. All right. <laughs> Mercer, Mercer was 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, yeah, he was decent. Mercer was uh, a really good defender, unbelievable athlete, and he could fly. He, he could shoot. Tough. He could shoot. Ron Mercer was tough. Yeah, your team he, got much he, better shooting. He never he never panned out in the league the way he should have been, but, man, he was so good in college. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Look. So, turn off your ringer. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyway <laughs> – I'm going to give you final call on this because the Patino team, that was your team. You went with your starting five. I gave my opinions. Now, I, I will expect the same courtesy. You want uh, no. me to give a, the final say? Well, it's your team. If you want to, it, if the Patino team was your was your baby. Tubby team will be mine. You will have your opinions, okay. and I will listen, and I will weigh those. But that's just my, that's my opinion. It's completely up to you. <laughs> God Almighty. I can see why you did what you did. And I can see why I did what I did. <laughs> yeah, mine's orange. Um, That's not what she said. That's what she said about me. I feel sorry for you. But anyway. We're talking, we're talking about beards, right? <laughs> Mine ain't. I ain't got one. <laughs> he tries. I do try. I, I fight for it. But anyway. So what will be your final start? God Almighty, Perry, I'm going to slap you. I'm going to put Mercer at the five. Mercer at the five? <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I can, oh, man, I can see why you would do that. And I'm going to roll with it just because when I go back and look, going against the eras, even having McCarty at center, <clears throat> I think you, you're so... And I love Walter McCarty. Yeah, he's good. Loved him. Walter McCarty is one of my favorite Kentucky players of all time. But you're going to need as much shooting as possible to me. To battle the teams that you've got coming down the line... That's what I'm saying. You're going to need the ability to score out of the post, but also to space with the post. To create drive. Right, right, yeah. So. And that's... So you're going to need shooting. You're going to have to have shooting. So, yeah, I can see, I can see going that route. Um... Now, does that change the overall outcome? What about Javel Martinez? Any consideration? Jamel? Who? Jamel Martinez? I don't know. Never mind. I don't know. Who's that one? He played for an earlier Patino team at Kentucky, like 93 or 94. So, Mashburn? He played with Mashburn? Mm-hmm. I don't remember him. Mm-hmm. Probably his name. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway. We took none of the unforgettables. Well, they're all old. They are. <laughs> but we did, but four of our five did play on a 96-team. Right. <coughs> so the lineup that you're going to submit. And Mashburn is easily considered to be one of the better Kentucky players ever. Yes, absolutely. So it's If not for injury, not. Mashburn would have had a fantastic – he still had a good pro career, but it, was, but it one, was yeah. restricted by injury. He may have had the best – before before Calipari came into this, he may have had been the best Kentucky player I don't know and since Patino took over the team. Antoine Walker had a really good career he did have pretty good in Boston. Career. Now, he got lazy and started shooting from outside a lot. <laughs> but just Antoine Walker, he's he was, in Boston. He was a decent really shooter, good. too. He's really good. Especially late in his career. Look at the Miami Heat. He shot. He played small. Mm. Small forward for them. So Pro career. But anyway, we ain't talking that. What, 
I think we're going to call this video, and the starting lineup will be the Delp, Anderson, Mercer, Mashburn, and Walker. Now, just because we have another problem, they did not off. have a whole lot offers. We have another problem to solve. What's that? Mashburn mean? and Walker both wore number twenty-four. Which one's wearing number twenty-four? <laughs> you gotta let Monster Mash be Monster Mash, man. But I understand it, but Walker won a title. I don't care. Okay. Walker, Walker had a lot better team. I tried, Twan. I tried. <laughs> Listen, Walker, if you wouldn't have been gambling away hey, all your hey, money, hey, you could have hey, kept number 24. Hey. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> I tried, Twan. <laughs> but. That Mashburn team was really good. Mashburn team destroyed teams in a regular season. And yeah, just. They, went, they went to the good. Final Four. Went 16 good. They wasn't 96. No team ever is 96. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> so, all right. All right. <laughs> But he was still Monster Mash. I don't know. If you go back all the way, you go all the way from Mashburn to Wall. I don't know that anybody had the height while he was at Kentucky that Mashburn had. Maybe not. Mashburn was fantastic. He was. But anyway, <laughs> so he's getting the number. Dang it. <laughs> or we'll get we'll make it Mashburn's choice. If he wants to be a nice guy. <laughs> I mean, Walker wore eight in the league, but you can't wear eight in college. I don't know what to Why can't you wear eight? You can't. You can't wear a number higher than five. Did, have you never noticed that? You can't wear a number higher than five. No. One through five, ten through fifteen, twenty through twenty-five, thirty through thirty-five. Can't wear a number higher than five. Like you no, never, I never noticed that. You'll never, you'll never see anybody with the second number on their jersey or their being a number six or like a 16 or 26. You'll never see Why? That. You just can't. Just That's rule. stupid. Just a rule. That's a stupid rule. For uh, official rules for calling, out mean, numbers for calling out numbers for fouls. It don't hurt my number. It don't hurt my. Oh, okay. I get why they did it. For calling out. Sorry for, for purposes. You're fine. But I, I'm figuring out, out now why they did that. 15. Or, See, <laughs> just however it would line up on the camera, fifteen. <laughs> but I mean, you're gonna be doing it to the ref or to the scoreboard, but scorekeepers. I understand. But, but that's, anyway, that's why you can't. That's our list. Sorry, guys, <laughs> we took a weird toll there toward the end. But I was educating. <laughs> that was I, was I never even paid attention to that, honestly. But huh. so. Let us know what you think in the comments, guys. If you think maybe there was somebody we missed or forgot, like Jamel Martinez or whatever his name was. I was joking. <laughs> uh, if, but that's legitimate. If there's anybody that you think should be in this top five for Patino's era, or not top five, but a starting five, then let us know. Say it in the comments. You know, we may consider it and go back and change, just like we did with the Alex English thing. We may go back and correct ourselves. You know what I mean? But so not likely. <laughs> no, not really. But <laughs> definitely let us know though, because we could consider it. If you guys liked it though, hit that like button and that subscribe button. Like us on Facebook, Bluegrass Sports Show. Twitter, Bluegrass Sport Two. Share it among your friends. Anything you want to add? He's ready to say bye. So you guys have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.